in the middle of nowhere, but yet I can't fast travel somewhere. I'll see you guys in Rote. Guess what happened? I had to redo it. Do you know why? Because I got killed by six humans. Because I wasn't fully equipped. Speaking of which. I forgot they have a that way the last one equipped. Do you know how frustrating that is? Like you sneak your way all the way through something just to get dead. Dang it, Apocryphy! Potion Master, Snake, Thing. I need you to do the hearsay. It's 9 a.m. Wake up! Down and down! Well, thank you. I want a new point in rating. That's not what I had in mind. We'll talk to him eventually. Be right back. All right, you do your thing. I've got the book. Really? You were a fine fellow. I wouldn't say well, that. Show me it then. Here it is. Wonderful. Come back in a little while. I need to read through it and find that spell. And here's a reward for your efforts. What? I'm gonna kill you. Have you read it already? Give me more time. Dang it! I've found what we need, but it won't be easy. The spell must be said over the grave of the person preventing his soul from resting in eternal peace while burning something from the house he lived in. Ugh, of course. It couldn't be something easy, could it? Who said meddling with the dead would be a walk in a rose garden? You'll probably have to ask your widow a few more questions. Once you know everything, get something from his house. And find the grave of the person that's preventing him from resting in peace. Then come see me, and we'll get to banishing that ghost. Oh, Jesus, and I thought the living were troublesome. So let me get this straight. We started the quest with Lachenko. We went with Lachenko to Sassau. We went to Sassau to Lachenko. Then we went from Lachenko to Rete. Then go to Rete to Sassau's monastery. Back to the cloister that we absolutely couldn't stand, but for like five minutes, which wasn't bad at all. Then back to Rete. Then back to Lachetko. And we know at least we have to go back to Rotate at least one more time. All this so the thing the hag will brew us potions. Puppy. I saw the apothecary, and he reckons that ghost of yours is quite a problem. You think I don't know that? Last night, I didn't get a wink of sleep. I lay in my bed, totting and turning, just waiting for him to appear. And did he come? For a long while, it seemed like nothing would happen. Then, towards the morning, the room grew cold as the grave. My poor heart nearly stopped beating when I heard a voice calling my name. So I fell to my knees and begged the Virgin Mary to protect me. When will this all end? You must work quickly. If this goes on much longer, I'll lose my mind. I know I will.
To get rid of him, we need to cast a spell over the grave of the person who's preventing him resting in peace. I'm not sure who that person is, though. You, um... You haven't already picked out a grave site for yourself, have you? No. Henry, the truth is, I haven't told you the whole story. I'm not the one he's got unfinished business with. Well, who is it, then? It's your husband, wasn't it? I suggest wasn't you it? tell me everything. Alois had a wife. Her name was Lada, and she was a proper shrew, shrieking at him from sunrise to sunset. Oh. He never spent a single pleasant day with her. They must have fought like dogs. One night, Lada took a lantern and burned the whole farmhouse down with Alois inside. <laughs> Another reason not to get married, or to treat your wife kindly if you do. So, I should try and find Lada's grave, is that right? You said yourself you need to find the person preventing his spirit from resting in peace. When Alois died, Lada lost her mind. She spent days running about the woods near Tarnberg, completely witless, until one day they found her body deep in the woods. Her hair was all pulled out, her face scratched up with her own fingernails. They buried her there, where they found her, but I don't know exactly where to look. I'll ask around. For the spell, I'll need something from the house where the spirit once lived. Where exactly did Elois live? It's north of here, to the left of the road from Ledechko. But there's not much left of it these days except ash and weeds. The farm was burned to the ground with Alois inside. Oh, that must have been a terrible death. I don't need to know anything else. I can head off now. So let me get this straight. I'll do that in a second. So this is his own house. One of the most frustrating things I've ever had to deal with. Everything burned to the ground. So where can I find something that belonged to the dead? I'll take some of these pieces of charred wood. That should do. The problem is we're kind of stuck. Quest giver. Found the grave of Lada. I did that. I'm not sure to where to even start. I mean, I can go to Talonburg. I don't want to go to Talonburg. I hear there's a grave in the woods round here. Do you know how I can find it? You mean where they buried that mad woman? They say on some nights her ghost wanders the woods. But you'll find the grave when you head up to the woods and keep some way off to the right from the stream. It's hard enough to see in daylight. If it's dark, you're sure to get lost. Thanks. I'm sure I'll find it. If I were you, I wouldn't go looking for it. It's not a good place. I'll feel as Phoenix is useful. All right. Where am I going? Not that deep. Okay. Yeah. We're on to something, game. Thank you. Oh, at least we don't have to go to Townburg where I thought I was going to. So this got significantly easier via yeah. order at the same time. Oh, 
Really? Is it right here? Ah, this must be it. May she rest in peace, Lord. All right, guys, is that time of the day again? So let me get this straight. We start in Lecheco. We got to South Sound for not even a minute. We go back to Lecheco to go to Ratai. I've said this for rep name five different ways. I don't care at this point. To send me to the monastery to come back to Ratai to go to Lecheco to come back to Ratai to go to Lecheco. Whoever made this quest needs to be shot. <laughs> and the fact I need this for Siege drives me up the wall. Like, there is no reason for this to exist. And let me guess, I can't even go inside. Because it's nighttime. Oh, I can. Okay, I was about to get really upset even have more. everything we need. Excellent. In that case, I'm ready too. Let's meet after dark at the crossroads beyond Ledechko. I'll be there. Alright, I will meet you there in a moment. Alright, dude. Let's oh, do things. Good. Good here. Come with me. Give me a lantern. Show off. All right, can we finally end this qu silly quest? These are weird names. What the heck is that? That's different. Where'd you go? A horse? Alright, come on, Pocrity. Start the exorcism so we can go and get some sleep. <clears throat> Zikia Kanba Jalubara Namtabara Ashakbara Kikimbara Ziana Kampa Zikia Kampa Jalubara Namtabara What's that? Go on, that's what matters. Just keep going. I think that's enough. The ghost must surely be banished by now. Now let's get out of here before something worse appears. Go and see the widow tomorrow to find out if it helps. I'm going home. Thanks for the help. Really? I have a feeling we're not done yet.
I thought that was a ghost for a second. It's tomorrow. Nope, can't do it yet. Well, see you in a moment. All right. Are you safe now? Mother of God, you look like you've been assaulted. We cast a spell over Lada's grave. It wasn't for the faint of heart. Mary, mother of mercy. And not even that hell. Are you freaking kidding what? me? You mean to tell me it was all for nothing? Only the Lord himself can help me now. I'll need the parish priest. But why didn't you go and see him right at the start? What would he think of me? Herbalists have always handled ghosts. But now what other choice do I have? Go and ask him what I can do. Fine. I'll go and see him. But I swear this is the last thing I'm doing for you. You have my gratitude. Take a few groceries for everything you've done for me so far. Once the ghost is gone, you'll get more. God bless. Goodwin! So let me get this straight! What? We start from the middle town, and we go to the bottom left town, we go back to the middle town, we go back, go to the bottom town. They tell us to go to the bottom left town, to go back to the bottom town, to go to the middle town, to go to the bottom town, to go to the middle town, to go to the top northeast one! This is the farthest two towns I think they made me do so far. Like, I have been doing this quest since like 2 o'clock today. It's almost 5. That hurt. I should have done that. Oh, I'm getting so frustrated. Like... I'm glad I'm not playing hardcore. If I was playing hardcore right now, I'd have, to, I'd have to do this on my own. So fast traveling. Uh-oh. I swear, if I have to do another quest on top of this, I'm gonna throw a fit. Oh. Hi, Godwin. There's a widow being haunted by a ghost. Can anything be done about that? A revenant? Tell me more about it. For the last few nights, her long dead neighbor has been paying her a visit in her house. She's tried to drive him out, but neither prayer nor spells have any effect. That's why she's turning to you for help, Father. Hmm. In the scripture, it's written that the dead shall rise again only on the day of judgment. I suspect it may be something on the widow's own conscience that's haunting her. Do you know anything more about that? Well, she says it's the ghost of Alois, a farmer whose wife burned him alive in his own cottage. My, my. That would make a soul restless, all right. But I believe there must be something else that's keeping the widow from sleeping. A farmer, a jealous wife. I'd ask the widow if there's not more to it. My God, that never occurred to me. How little you know people. Make the widow tell you everything, you'll see. And to make amends with the deceased as well as the Lord, tell her to erect an atonement cross. A what? You ask as if you've fallen from the stars. 
an atonement cross. You often see them along roads, reminders of reconciliation and forgiven trespasses. Suggest it to the widow and see how she reacts. Thank you for the advice. It was very helpful. I shall pray for the poor woman, and I'll be grateful in turn for any donation she may decide to make to the church. So let me get this straight. We go from Pacheco to Sasta, the Lecheco to Rote, to the monastery to Rote, the Lecheco to, to Rote. Wait, hold on. Lecheco, Sasta, Lecheco, Rote, monastery Rote, Lecheco, Rote, Lecheco. Whatever that town's called, back to Lecheco. Henry has no energy, like, I'm getting tired watching him do this, like. This is by far, I, okay, you know what? This quest is officially worse. Oh God, freaking bless it. Be right back. All right, Eho bag. God preserve you, good I saw the parish priest. And what did he tell you? Will he come and bless my house with holy water? A better question is, what haven't you been telling me? I've already told you everything. I feel you haven't told me everything. Was there something between you and Alois? I... There's no use denying it any longer. I was a widow and his wife, Lada. She wasn't the kind of woman who filled her husband's heart with joy. Alois and I grew close. So, fornication? If that's what you want to call it. From time to time, we took comfort in each other's arms. Ladder found out and began to make a fuss. They fought. You know the rest. You couldn't have known it would end up the way it did. Perhaps I couldn't, but I still reproach myself over it every night. For years now, I've been living with what I did. I suppose it's only just that it's finally caught up with me. My poor Alois and the children he left behind. I assume his children know nothing about it. They're already adults, but you're right. They don't know anything. Do you think it would help if I told them everything? That it would bring peace to Alois and he'd stop haunting me? I think you're on the right path now. Make up for old wrongs. Atone for your sins. Erect a memorial cross. You're right. I'll go and tell them the truth, however much they despise me afterwards. I'll do anything to get a good night's sleep again. Here's some money. Go to the quarry and order a cross be made. I'll do that. Are you freaking kidding me? hundred times over. Take care. Ten? Screw this. And welcome back to the encampment. Rupert. Huh? What? How? Wait, what? That's weird. Okay, why don't I wake up? Hi, God Rupert. Be with you. I need to erect an atonement cross. How much does one cost? Ten groschen. We already have one such cross ready. So if you pay now, we can have it sent wherever you want immediately. There you are.
What do you think? Will he come again? I'm sure we've seen the last of him. Oh, it feels so light. I could float away at peace with the world. That's a peace I have yet to find. Mm. As you seem for yourself, shaking off the past isn't easy. Here's a ring my husband left me. I don't even know where he got it, but it might be worth something. Take it with my gratitude. Glad I was able to help. Thank you. And God be with you. And with you. I hope you'll finally have peaceful dreams. Dollars. Is it bad? Can I read this? All right. Let's do it one more time. So we started here. We had to go to Sassel for a minute. Let's go all the way back to Lecheco. To go to Rote, to go back, or to, to the monastery, back to Rote, back to Lecheco, back to Rote, back to Lecheco, to tell, or to, uh, ooh shit. Back to Echeco, to Talmberg, and then we finish it up in Echeco. Look, that was awesome. All right, next time on Kingdom Come Deliverance, we'll go back to that lady to see if we can finish this. Wait. Wasted three hours for nothing? 